Okay, uh, I'm gonna start the stream. Hey everybody, I'm not sure why the notification bot is not working, but um, happy Friday. Hi Slade. Um, I'm gonna play a little of this game, Secret of Evermore, which is a weird one. Uh, it's a Square game made in America in 1995. Um, I found this game very interesting as a child. Uh, I don't know how it's gonna hold up. Um, but, uh, we will see. Um, I think you get to name the character and the character's dog. So the way this game works is, like, there are four different eras, I think? Time, um, uh, eras of history that you travel through? And you are the character and then your dog changes? I don't really remember why. Anyway, it's the guy and a dog. It's the guy and a dog. Um... So we need names for the character, we need names for the dog, I believe. I think you get to name the dog. Um, hi, Bill. Illusions of Gaia, yeah, that was, I think that was on Sega? Genesis, Illusions of Gaia? Uh, um, Nick for the dog name, Toby for the, uh, how about Toby for the, for the, um, human, and Nick for the dog name, I like that idea, uh, for Epis. Um... <laughs> Get very confusing. Mengus? Oh boy. Um, the game is bleeding onto the chat in the video. Oh, thank you. Yeah. It's having a hard time getting this 4x3 presentation. There we go. That's a little better, although it's not quite not quite right. Thank you. Let's just take a second and um so I'm not sure why this game the aspect ratio on this game is strange. It's not really 4x3, is it? Well, I think rather than... Um, well, I'll mess around with this in a minute. We'll, we'll see how it looks. Um, thank you, Joel. Three years of support. I appreciate that. Um, happy Friday, all. Um, with square pixels, SNES is 5x4. Oh, okay. Well, that would be why. Nineteen sixty-five. I don't remember any of this. Uh, yeah, Frampus, I'll mess around with it when I'm, uh, when we're out of this cutscene, I suppose. Wow, this is so intense. I am gonna just pause briefly, sorry, uh, and and change the uh, aspect ratio. So I'll go four by three, and um, that should fix it. Yeah. Cheers, Frampus. Okay, perfect. Doug head.
<laughs> he took his dog to a movie. Yeah, good point about it, Bill. Um, a mummy, a chainsaw, and a balloon animal. Boy, this is a cheap way of not having to uh, create this environment. It's a little bit of a Chrono Trigger opening, isn't it? It's not too dissimilar. Um, I feel like it's definitely built on Secret of Mana code. The combat's very similar. Uh, at least that's my recollection. Wow, that's an animation. Seemed bazooka. <laughs> oh, right, I think you have to 100% charge to shoot. Yeah, I think that's the way this works. Yep, okay. Um, I'm playing this on an emulator, and it's so far I'm not able to use diagonal control. I wonder. That probably feels like a... That's, that can't be good. Um... Yeah, the, um, oh. Oh man, that chessboard. That is a, um, a, a window background. That's a choice that someone made. Uh, very blue. Um, right, the dog gets turned into a wolf. Right, the first uh, weapon is this uh, bone. Um, I remember feeling really cheated that uh, you start with this cool bazooka and then they instantly take it away from you and give you a bone. Um, I wonder why I don't have diagonal control. There's got to be... Um, oh, I see. Up, left, up, right, down, right, down. Right. Okay. There we go. Got to map it. Anyway, um, so this is the secret of uh, Evermore. What a strange game. How's everybody doing today? 
Uh, I just got married. <laughs> like two hours ago. Uh, it's very weird to say out loud. Um, <laughs> we just did the the Zoom call with the county. Uh, and we're going to do a real ceremony next year when, uh, you know, a little easier for folks to uh, fly. But, uh, yeah, thank you. Um, do you feel any different? We haven't really, like, celebrated at Antrix. I think we'll do, like, a little low-key celebration tonight, maybe. And I think I will feel different. I, it did feel different, uh... Because we were just joking around, calling each other husband and wife, but I think that 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 definitely starts to feel different very fast. <laughs> but um, but I don't know. We've been together for eight years, so I think when we have a real ceremony, it's going to be emotional. But right now, oh my God, there are raptors, uh, and I'm dead. Oh, look at the dog like trying to rescue me. I live on the edge. <laughs> Thanks, Abominable. Yeah, hopefully, um Oh right, this was this is sort of scripted. You have like a little Yoda moment here. Um Yeah, hopefully we'll stream the actual uh wedding ceremony and everybody can just play those uh Janelle the uh Janelle soundboard clip over and over again. Um, can save your game. <laughs> yeah, Toby mode during the wedding would be uh, it's a little hard to pass up. Um, last full week of work for four weeks. Oh, nice. Congrats, Gord. Oh, man. I remember there was like a whole crafting system in this game. Or something. I remember having to collect that ash. And it's just like taking forever. Um, oh, interesting. It's set... The AI's um, kind of tendencies here. I don't know what zero and one mean. I guess that's player, maybe. Or I don't know. That that doesn't make any sense because I'm. Huh. That's weird. Um, being married at the Elvis Chapel in Vegas is already live stream. Really, Cord? So they just live stream everything there? That's pretty strange. Did it? Uh, hey, I don't remember that. I guess I guess it must have. I, mean, I just never used it. Dog biscuit. Yeah. All right. Then what do I do with these, um... Wait, what? Oh... 110, so I've used it for a minute and 10 seconds? Is that what that's tracking? What a strange game. Targeting? I can't seem to access it. Alright, well we'll have to figure this out as we go. Um, I'm the source of goods for this village, a very human-like thing to say. <laughs> well, with the way that this game is, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if these are all, like, secretly robots or something. Um. Oh, yeah, I remember this stuff. Yeah, I gotta grasp the best. Yeah, my memory of this game is that um, I desperately tried to make progress and just never could. Uh, and then came back to it like two years later and beat the game after I was like less of a baby. But I remember having a really hard time with it initially. Um, 
remember the combat just feeling very difficult compared to uh, Secret of Mana. Oh, it looks like I don't have a sword sword, so I can't get past that. Uh, you should talk to Fire Eyes before you walk into the dangerous quicksand field. I'm not sure I want to walk into that quicksand field yet anyway, but maybe I do? The Chrono Trigger opening probably ten times. I was never sure how to progress the game where you get to the uh, post-apocalyptic area. <laughs> yeah, there's a part of Chrono Trigger early on where um, you've got to, like, interact with the piano to unlock that one dungeon, and I remember that. Um, I, I think, I, I'm pretty sure I had the strategy guy, so I don't think it confused me, but I remember thinking like, oh, I bet there are a lot of people who never figured this out. And just went in circles. Uh, I do love that the dog just kind of like sniffs around. Um, okay, this is where we're supposed to go. doing it. Oh, thanks, Cord. I'm not sure why that didn't change. I know I typed in Secret of Evermore at one point, but I didn't click the button. stuff. Um, I think the um, I think the guy just like importing chunks of different uh, civilizations from different eras into this like space called Evermore I think. I don't remember. I guess we're going to go to that uh, quicksand zone now. Oof, god. Starting with 30 hit points is pretty rough. Just like hitting these things with my bone.
Maybe I'm not meant to fight them. Well, okay. I remember thinking, was, even with Secret of Mana, that it was weird that um, there was this, like, fast action combat system, but then you could still miss. I always found, found that to be strange. I get, like, having variable damage, but it, it seems odd that you can, like, straight up miss here. Did anyone watching uh, play this game? Is anyone familiar with this game? I feel like my memory of this is that it was not well received, nor was it played much. But um, I could be wrong about that. Maybe this one like game of the year, I have no idea. I already rented it twice. I think I still have the cards to Slade. Yeah, I know I have the cards somewhere, but... Um, I also could be playing this on the SNES Classic, but I could not find it. I still haven't unpacked it. Okay. Oh! Oh, we're gonna do like a little uh, portal thing here. <laughs> Uh, the dog's face is, uh, pretty good. Free with any purchase? Okay, I'll buy, like, a dog biscuit. Oh, I love Secret of Mana, but yeah, I had the multi-tap. I can totally understand why somebody who played that game single-player only would not have enjoyed it as much. Because, um, yeah, like, compared to other games at the time. Although, I mean, the, the battle system was different. It wasn't... I don't know if it's necessarily... Um, if it holds up, but it being different than, like, a turn-based Final Fantasy thing at the time was really interesting uh how do i like equip things um oh right it's just probably deeper into the menu here oh it's just that it's in the pouch wait does that mean that it's equipped i guess so Weird. Wait, what is that? What did it say? Press the A button to run with super speed. Man, they thought they had a whole thing going with the, uh... Dime novel, uh, sci-fi references. Um, oh boy. Nope. Oh no! I wasn't fully charged. That's a fair point, hey. Hey, Wilk. Um, <laughs> okay. Is 
secret amount I had comics and Nintendo Power. Wow, I don't remember that. I absolutely read them, for sure, if they were in Nintendo Power and in that era, but uh, I don't remember the comics. I still have some original Mario comics from the uh, Nintendo Power Club uh, around the release of Mario 3. Um, also Zelda comics as well. Um, with kind of a, uh, what were the, uh, was it CDI, the, uh, the really bad Zelda games? Kind of that art style, as I recall. Yeah, wasn't the Zelda comic kind of about, like, he was getting the Power Stones and stuff? The, the Mario one was weird. The Mario one was all over the place. Well, I think there were also two different art styles slash comic approaches with the Mario stuff. There was one that was, like, super goofy, and then there was one that was basically goofy, but it's not, not quite as, uh... Not quite as goofy. <laughs> Fair enough, about Bill. I don't really remember what it looks like. Uh, I just remember Link looking kind of um, like more of a whiny adult versus uh, versus a kid. I guess is all I'm saying. Yeah, the Mario comics were very strange. Uh, I feel like Bowser wasn't even the villain in a lot of cases. I gotta open them up again. I'm sure scans of them exist on the internet. But I'm pretty sure I have them in a box somewhere. Nintendo Power had a Star Fox comic. Oh, I think I may have unsubbed before that came out. I, I really blew it. I had every Nintendo Power, like, immaculately stored all of the um, posters and everything, and then at some point, I think they just got shucked. And I uh, I definitely regret that that day, whenever that was. Probably like I was in college and my mom said, can I throw these out? And I probably said like, sure, whatever. Big mistake. It's definitely tough to balance that kind of thing because on the one hand I say big mistake, but like the number of times we've moved recently and if I had to like around 150 Nintendo powers, Janelle would have just lost her mind. Why are you doing this? Oh, it's like, uh, shoots and ladders. Scans of old PC gamer. They're doing a, um, uh, I think I linked it one time, but it's um, the game archiving uh, organization. It's doing. Um, it's not like re releases. I think they're just actual copies of old video game magazines that you can subscribe to because they they don't need them in their archives anymore. I forget the name of the um, initiative. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh my god, am I gonna go back to the village? Like that's... Oh no. Oh, I didn't say... Oh, shit. <laughs> oh no. Oh man. Ouch. Ooh. Oh. 
I should have used the save state. Um, hmm. Well, uh, I guess that's good to know. Uh, I know where to go now, at least. I have to go through this again. Um, my ex's mom had a 80s microwave she'd like around because some old co-workers gave it to her. <laughs> that's kind of sweet, but yeah, that's... We got rid of so much stuff in our... We, we still have uh, just enough that we can't give up the garage for the car. The car's got to go on the street because we, we need the garage for storage here. But that's okay. We're kind of turning the garage into like a workout zone anyway, so... Where is the Chiefs thing? Um, well, PM, I just lost like 10 minutes of progress because I forgot to use the save state. So, we're going to go through this part again. Can we like speed up the uh um oops, no, I don't wanna do that. So like a two X maybe speed playback rate, buffer channel. Mm. Uh, uh looks like maybe not. Oh well. Uh, not yet, Potato. I, well, I think the secret is maybe just, like, save all of the time. Um, I don't even think I was near a boss, but maybe I was. I remember this game really taking off when you get to the second act. Um, this first act was kind of unappealing in a lot of ways, but um, once you get into the uh, the different eras, it's more uh, interesting. Oh, I'm back to level one. I don't really want to sit here and fight these things, though. Hmm. Guess you can't really cheat and Hitman a game like this. Uh, I don't know. I remember farming stuff in this game and, like... Yeah, knowing that you can kind of clump enemies and get multiple hits was my was my go-to. That just uh, I just remembered that's what I used to do. Oh, I shouldn't be here, PM? I got the sprint thing from being over here, though. I should probably at least do that. Uh, where was it? Somewhere over here.
Oh no. Um okay, I'll just buy a pedal. Sorry if I'm a little uh, low energy today. I this allergy season is just absolutely kicking my butt. Um, it happens every year around this time, but this year in particular is just salting my brain. Um, especially today, I'm like very not sleepy, but just kind of like brain fuzzy, you know, like brain foggy. Um, okay, we're getting close to where we were. Oh, but I keep failing this. A reader was nice enough to sell me a PlayStation 5, so I think next week I might actually stream some PS5 stuff. Um, well, next weekend, perhaps. Um, but we'll see. I need to kill guys just to get money to buy readers. Yeah. So I don't even remember what the deal is with that. Is it, is it like a crafting system, PM? And like, what's the point of it? I don't even remember all this stuff works. The game didn't really tell me. They just said, have pedals. <laughs> um, well, Itasco, I just beat Demon Souls on stream. So probably not Demon Souls specifically. Um... What's on the PS5? Um, well, a lot of upscaled stuff that I haven't played yet, and um, the uh, that game Returnal, um, which people seem to think is really good, and um, fight these guys and make sure I don't die because I haven't saved my state. Um, oh, and then that Final Fantasy VII remaster, which has the DLC, I guess, but also like a performance mode that we're in actually um, will kick out 60 FPS. So I might revisit that if I end up uh, going through all the Final Fantasies. Okay, this is where I died. Um... Uh, mainly, I just kind of wanted a, uh, you know, modern console for our television that can play stuff at high frame rates and uh, resolutions. Um, Oh, I didn't open his gourds. What am I doing?
Yeah, I remember what, combining this stuff and creating all kinds of wacky other stuff and it's, yeah, I haven't really gotten to that part of the game yet, I guess. Oh, right, it's for spells. Oh, I better save. I'm, I'm low on health. Um... I guess I should upgrade my stream uh, controller to the uh, PS5 controller. Assuming that you can just uh, get that working with a PC. I'm guessing you can. Where the hell am I going? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah thanks for reminding me that I should be paying attention to that. I was a little surprised how heavy the PS5 controller was. It's it's uh compared to the PS4 controller, it's got some real real heft. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, this is actually what I should save. These misses are just brutal. dumb face. Yeah, that sounds familiar, PM. Yeah, I'm not even sure what to do now. I guess this is the right path. Oh no. Ugh. Ugh, so close. To fit some XCOM time in there too. The big babies voted XCOM uh, to be played here, and uh, I gotta find a good moment for that. Maybe, um, maybe Janelle will stream that with me this weekend or something. For old time's sake. a boss this early? No. Uh, 
Oh. Interesting. Oh, it is a boss. Okay. <laughs> it's a pretty intimidating boss for this early in the game, I gotta say. Uh, this feels like the end of the game. I think this was the boss on the cover of the game, as I recall. Like, this is the uh, cover art. Uh, oh, that was Nick, i.e. the dog. I thought that was me gaining level, and I was like, yes, hit points. Uh, yeah, this is looking good. Oh, shit. Is there like something I can use? Flash ball? Hard ball? I don't know what any of this does. Um... Ah, uh, there we go. Oh no, we got Acid Rained on. Boy, that's a 90s thing there. I don't know what I should be. I guess I have to be running up and hitting this thing. so little damage. How, how is this supposed to work? Every time I go up there, I get hit for 18. Oh yeah, Acid Rain was terrifying. Like, what, my conception of what it was as a kid was, was just awful. Uh, okay. Load game position. All right, let's go. So try. I don't know what to do here. If, I mean, obviously, I need to get through to the heart, but how to do it? Hmm. Yeah, I wonder how much, like, my understanding of acid was was governed by, like, Alien. And so then the idea of, like, acid rain made it feel like, uh, you know, yeah, it's just gonna... It's gonna drip down through everything and, like, eat away at, uh, you know, my house. Until it reaches my face. Oh no, the dog! Oh, that's sad. Oh, I gotta bring the dog back. Oh, I can't. Wow, I have no idea how to approach this fight. This is really tough. Jesus. Um... Oh, yeah, I don't have any dog biscuits. Yeah. Well, PM, I can always just die, right, and get sent back to the village. Oh, no, because that'll be the, um... I can't do that, because that'll be... the previous save. Oh no, I saved post the village though. I saved on that uh, item guy. That's not too far away. 
Maybe I just like run in and attack? I don't know. Maybe run out? Yeah. Then you don't get a full 100%. You gotta get inside the ribs? How the hell do you do that? Let me in! Oh! Oh no. Oh god, okay. Yeah, this is... This is tricky. See if I can just let the dog uh, level up to get the, um, yeah, there we go. Get the heal in and then, oh no, the door closed. Oh, I'm getting beat back and forth. Getting tossed around on the ropes here. Seven, okay. Open up. Nope. Nope. Ugh. Oh, jeez. Oh! No! <laughs> this is really difficult. Yeah, this could be... This could be impossible at my current level, maybe. Um... Do you get to the second act after beating this guy, PM? I don't remember. Oh, jeez. Three bosses before Act 2? Okay. So there's no way we're seeing Act 2 on this stream. Um, that's kind of what I wanted to know. Do we have any cheats? Good question. Cheat. Game Genie... Enter cheat code. Um, let's see. Secret of Evermore. Game Genie Codes. Uh, you dodge 99% of the enemy's attacks. Um. <laughs> that would do it. Invulnerable to most. Walk through walls. Uh, all armor, helms, gloves, collars, and items, and... Oh, yeah, DD80. Okay, here we go. Uh, I have not used the game Genie in quite a while. This is this is great. Uh, 3FE9. Okay. Supposedly it's active. Let's see. No. Yeah, I'm not sure that's actually going to work. <laughs> Unless that's a, an O and not a zero. Looks like a zero, though. It's definitely a zero. Let me give this one more shot. Because it's going so well. I feel like I'm really close. I just wanted to give you all the items, uh, PM, but it did not. Oh, the dog's trapped inside. Oh, no. Maybe that's a good thing, though? Should I take control of the dog? Can I do that? Oh, select? Okay. 
Oh yeah. Oh no, it, it just died. Okay. It might be easier to do this without the dog, I don't know. Ugh, the misses. many times you have to get in there. Oh! Oh! 75! I think it's just permanently open now. Ah, uh, come on. kidding <laughs> I don't know about that that's pretty ridiculous hardball might be the way to go it has 600 hit points oh whoops I just saved oh I just blew away my progress I meant to load it and I saved slot zero on the loading screen. <laughs> well, anyway, that's Secret of Evermore, I guess. Uh, <laughs> um, I mean, that's probably as much of a look at the game as I was going to give it. I, I, it um, it's fun to look at that game again, but my memory of it is entirely based on the middle and later sections of it, and I don't know that I have the stamina. After playing like 20 hours of Final Fantasy IV, I don't know that I'm going to go through this game right now. But I appreciate the pick, Michael. Um, uh, this, it was fun to, uh, to see this stuff again, for sure. Um, I wonder if I should just play a little of something else right now. I was trying to get Abominable's pick going. I think that's. I might need to just wait on that. It's, it's kind of giving me some issues. Um, but, um, does anybody have any suggestions for something to play right now? Finish Final Fantasy IV? Um, S2 Rando. Why am I? Oh, Splunky 2. Oh, if people want to invade me in, in Deathloop, that could be, yeah, let's do it. Let's do that. Yeah. All right. Um, I don't know. I, I have to admit, I don't know that I'm super interested in beating Deathloop, but um, I can see, like, jumping in to mess around with it every now and then. And I would like to see how the uh, invasion stuff works. I did have a weird dream where like assassins were chasing me. And so I feel like I definitely, this game seeped into my consciousness uh, somehow. All right.
Or was it a dream, or was it a loop that you have forgotten? Man. <laughs> I, uh, do you want to put me in? No. I had this moment the other day, I was reading, um, I had uh, White Rabbit stuck in my head after watching the Matrix 4 trailer. And I was reading an interview, um, with the, uh, songwriter, um, uh, oh god, what, what's her name? Uh, Grace Slick. And she, um, she wrote, uh, White Rabbit before she was a part of Jefferson Airplane, and, um, I was reading this interview, and in the middle of this interview from, like, four years ago, she just casually drops, like, yeah, you know, I wrote the song, I, I sort of based it on Bolero, and, um, blah blah blah, and then, like, I went to this club in San Francisco called The Matrix and saw Jefferson Airplane for the first time, and I was like, what the fuck? Oh, you know, slow down, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, it turns out, um, Jefferson Airplane was the house band for, uh, the club The Matrix, and now, uh, that song is used in, uh, The Matrix trailer, uh, truly... Um, truly living in the Matrix. Um, so, okay, so I guess I just, like, load in wherever. I guess this is good enough. I mean, I'll just, uh, pretend like I'm gonna go complete a, complete a thing here. You can only be invaded in areas that have a visionary available to kill. Oh, okay. Okay, Slade. Uh, I don't know if that's the case with this area. Ah, there was a portrait. Okay, I missed it, yeah. What do I have to lose? Well, if you die, your weapon won. Unless, of course, you succeed, then you get to keep them. I'm always succeeding, even when I'm not. How do I keep my weapons again? Uh, so... Isn't that why you came up here? Not gonna lie. Me told me to. Where do I set, like, the online thing? It says online mode at the top left, so I assume that I'm good? I guess I should probably drop out of invisible mode. That's, uh... That's probably not helpful. Click on it again to be friends only. Yeah, see, I can't click on that. I'm not sure why. Uh... Oh, should I go back to the menu? Yeah, I don't know how this works. It's weird that you wouldn't be able to change that on the fly. Okay. Let's make sure that it's a friend who invades and not uh, a random person. Oh. I could have just left through the door. Whoops. Um, I did load up the uh, Juliana multiplayer stuff and tried to get match made with somebody and it just never worked. I was kind of bummed. Oh, I, I never got a... A menu. This is one of my favorite parts. It's a big sad cold. Be sure you're up for it. What do I have to lose? Well, if you die, your weapons for one. Unless, of course, you succeed, then you get to keep them. I'm always succeeding, even when I'm not. How do. I see, and shakes. Okay. Yeah, there's some things about this game that I'm still not clear on after having played through that long tutorial. Um, okay, there we go. So I should choose one of these two, it seems like. Probably, definitely the wolf. Uh,
right, Pam? I, I feel like I feel like I was earnestly trying to learn this game while I was playing it on stream the other day, and I I came away just kind of going, okay, what is the structure of this? What do I do? <laughs> like it's a lot of tutorial, but most of it's just like. Go here, now go here, now go here, and I don't really learn, I didn't really learn, like, a loop by doing a bunch of, like, stuff that wasn't one of the loops, you know? Wow. I didn't know you liked party. Ain't my style. Uh, you're all business all the time, aren't you? What is your style? Yeah, that's what I imagine what happens, Slade. Well, I should be killing motherfuckers, apparently. Oh. I'm disappointing you. Good. You know it's going to be disappointing. Trying to figure out which one is Alexis. Best of luck. Hey, guys. I have top secret It's a set of four hitman maps that you can choose an order to tackle. It was top and then... <laughs> isn't... At that point, though, you've got to complete all four of them without dying, right? Next to the That's stage. the task, That's sort of. That's all you've got? Well, anyway, I'm uh, playing the game now, and I'm uh, open to being invaded. Invade me, if you dare. Uh, you'll probably beat me. What is this gun? I don't. Oh, this is that nail gun, right? Right, but so like, is that doesn't that sort of mean though that you can then um, just kind of read a guide for this game and know exactly what order to do things in, and that's sort of the end of the puzzle? Or are there elements that are yeah? Oh, okay. My name isn't coming up as available. Okay, yeah, I don't know why. It's so weird. The Avengers video game end game where they're trying to work out to grab all the infinity stones. Right, yeah. The way to beat this game is 100% linear. There's no creativity in how you make all this stuff happen. Oh, okay. Game kill order will be exactly the same for all players. Wow, interesting. What? What just happened? Yeah, it'd be weird if it if it let me choose like online or not if I wasn't invadable, right? So yeah, I guess I'm just like I, I can't get invasions to work. I don't I don't get it. I don't really know why.
I really haven't done anything. I don't really know what to do at any given time. I mean, I guess I'm really just trying to, like, take out targets? Is that is that just kind of the whole thing? I'm supposed to be, like, finding a character in this arena and, and killing them? That's that's the whole the whole deal. to know. I uh, hate superhero. For some reason I can't get some um, invasions to work and I'm bummed. That's that's kind of the catch up. Get residium or residum? I don't know what that is. I thought this whole place was supposed to be one big party. Great. Well, more than one way to crash the party. Oh, geez. Doesn't say I'm playing Deathloop on Steam? Hold on. I, I put myself to online. And yeah, there's like a weird like thing. I don't get it. I don't know. I don't I have no idea why. Hmm. There's a an eyeball with a line through it next to Deathloop, but I don't know why that's there. That's probably why. Um do I just have like a weird privacy setting on? I must. Uh, but I have no idea where to turn that off. Steam is still basically impenetrable every time I try to like change a setting like this. Um, friends can only be invaded when they are in a district and period where a visionary is present. Friends can only be invaded during the first few minutes after Colt has entered the district. Hmm. Can you like climb this thing? Looks like something you can climb. Oh. 
Three digit code, maybe we could just like brute force this, you know? How much time does everybody have? I wonder if I had to have the, uh, to be, to be uh, visible in Steam before I started the game. Yeah, I'm always, I'm a little confused on the level design here. I never really know, like, what the sneaky things are that I should be doing. Like, there's a an entrance that's, like, clearly I don't want to go that way, but then... Do I... Do I need a disguise? Like, what's the... Oh, I guess there's a door here? No. I have, Rampus, I have. I'm pretty sure I'm out of the tutorial. But who knows? Um. um. Okay, nope. Bad idea, I guess. Yep, bye. Oh! Nope. Okay, bye. <laughs> um, well, if I can't be invaded, I don't know that I want to stream this game. That, that's kind of what I was... Uh, I mean, I can try to invade other people, but see, I don't think I can even do that. And I, I again, I, I have no idea why. It just doesn't seem to... The matchmaking doesn't seem to work for me. Let me give it a shot, though. I'll give it a shot. Maybe it'll uh, reveal what is actually going on here. Oops. Oh, the game crashed. Okay. Let's launch that death loop. Hmm. I never did Frampus. Um, I never, uh, well, maybe I invaded one person once. I know I won a duel once, and that was extremely exciting. Um, but uh, mostly I got invaded, and it was usually pretty funny, at times frustrating, but usually pretty, pretty amusing. <laughs> yeah, definitely got invaded in in GTA five for sure. <laughs> oh man, coffee is not counteracting the um allergy fatigue today. Might need a cocktail. Okay, let's see if I can invade someone else. Um Everybody's offline. I don't know if that means anything. Um, try to invade a random person, maybe? Oh, absolutely, Isis. 
Yeah. Drinks always perk me up. Oh, it might be working. Uh... Mm, I think that's just a beeping noise. <laughs> I don't think it has anything to do with anything. Never mind. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, see, I think there's just something wrong with, uh... my connection to this for some reason? It's really weird, because it is just, like, half... Of the, I mean, it's not actually half of the game, but it's weird that, like, of the two buttons on the main screen, this whole component just doesn't work for me. Uh, yeah, I don't know, Superhero. I'm using the modem... Um, I'm, I'm using my... Um, I'm not using an extra router, which is usually when that happens to me. Um, I'm using the... Uh, just the old ISP modem router combination. Um, unavailable. God, it's so weird. Could it just be that I'm set to not show my game or something in Steam? Uh. See if you're on the list now. Um, Slade unavailable. I'm not invisible. I'm I'm visible, but I'm not. I have it set to not. Sh I guess I I didn't mean to do this, but I have it set to not show what game I'm playing. I don't know where that preference is though. Um, profile privacy settings. Okay. I mean, it says currently in game death loop when I go on um, go on my profile. Um, okay, I just changed that. Now let's see if that made a difference. Nope. Weird. Yeah, I don't know. This is so strange. Uh, let me back out and then... I, I don't think so, Isaac, because it would be very odd for them to, like, let me open up this part of the game, the Juliana part, and then it just, like, doesn't work. You know? Like, that... That doesn't seem plausible. It just seems like it's... Oh! Wait a minute. I think it was the game details thing. Maybe. Or maybe not. I don't know. Aeon, what did you just do? <laughs> that allowed this to happen. Weird. Huh. Oh, Slade's been on single player this whole time, and Cord probably is as well, so that's that explains it. <laughs> Alright, so it's got nothing to do with anything. Uh, let me... yeah. I wonder if it's just that Aeon um, had to be, like, in the beginning of the level, or whatever, like, in the way that the thing... yeah. All right, Aeon, I'm coming for you. I'm gonna play extra sneaky. Oh. 
except that you can just see my screen, so. Who was that? Also, do the enemies, their enemies are my friends? Yeah, they are. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. Oh my god, these menus. Oh. Wait, Masquerade. Oh. oh. Well, no one's going to mistake her for, for me just standing there. Um... I don't know this map at all. Oh god, wait a minute now. Oh shit. But do I still look like an enemy? Oh no! It's just turning into like a death match. <laughs> um, okay, but now you're probably... Still nearby. Oh, I have to prevent Colt from hacking the antenna. Oh, shit. What are my other things I can do? Nexus? I don't know what that is. Um... Oh. <laughs> oh, Cold has three lives and I don't. Oh, okay. I don't really understand this. So, like, this isn't like an arena or something. This is just I spawn near Aeon because Aeon's doing an objective that, like, makes this relevant or something. Oh, yeah. I still don't understand how anything works. I don't really have any choices. Colt doesn't win automatically by hacking the antenna, but that makes it so he can escape via the caves. Okay. Oh, no worries, Anne. I don't know what I'm doing anyway. Does it announce, like, you're being invaded by uh, Nick B, or does it just, like... I mean, it must, right? I have to turn up my sensitivity. This game is so low. Um, okay, so that's what Slade has to go for, this thing here. I was surprised how fast we were in combat. I thought I was going to have time to prepare or something. Um. inside this building it might be sneakier than just sitting here. No! <laughs> no! Oh god, there he goes! Shit. 
I think I failed. Where's the door? Oh, is that it? Is this it? Oh. That was it, I lost. Yeah. Well, well, that was... Wait, what? Hmm. Am I? St what am I doing now? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, where's the exit that I'm even supposed to be guarding? I'm not sure. Oh, wait. Oh. Ah! Slade's much better at this game than me! <laughs> uh... Yeah, I don't know where the exit is, so I'm not quite sure, like, what to be guarding. What the fuck? I forgot the kick key. I forgot a very key key. Oh no! Oh, I'm super dead. <laughs> um, this is a strange. This is a strange thing. Okay, Brampus. I'll try to. I'll. I'll. I'll try to improve my uh, performance here and uh, give you a uh, run for your money. It's just weird. It feels like they just inevitably turn into uh, deathmatch, like shotgunning and stuff. Um. Yeah, I mean, you can take the appearance of NPCs, but it's not like Hitman, right? Like, you're gonna just instantly know the one that's running really fast is the player. Um... Yeah, I only have the one rifle, so I guess I can't, like, do any sniping or anything, but... Okay, so what's the... That's the thing there. Alright. I'm just gonna stay here, I guess. Just like... Let me just kinda... Oh.
definitely heard some kind of shot in this direction. Oh. It's like if you could just like casually walk, you know, I feel like that would be a, a cool thing, but. I'm actually quite tense now. When when they don't immediately go for the thing, it, it gets a little bit nerve-wracking. Uh, yeah, I just don't really know the map that well. So I'm not sure what approaches I should be covering. Is that Frampus with those gunshots, or is that just like something in the map? I feel like he's probably invisible just in this room. And yeah, I don't know if Frampus is just hiding, waiting for me to come to Frampus. I feel like it's sort of on him to hack the antenna, though, right? I mean, I've got to... That's my objective. To protect this thing. Because I feel like I can't leave it. That's what I did with Slade, and it was a mistake. Um... Oh, that's me. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, I found him. Nope, that's just that's just the guy I switched out as. Um, interesting. There's like an alarm going off. I guess I should go out and try to find Rappus at this point. Thing gonna be friendly to me? It should be right now. Yeah. Where's my? Ugh, I'm getting so far from the objective though. He's just gonna walk right in while I'm gone. What was that noise? Uh, 
Um, oh my god, I don't know what to do. Oh, that's been hacked. Did he go in that way? Oh, these have been hacked. Okay. Um... I mean, I don't know. I'm, honestly, I haven't played it enough, I guess, to really have a strong take on it one way or the other, but um, the first couple hours definitely didn't grip me as much as uh, other folks, I think. Um, I think part of it is that I, like the movement it doesn't feel very good to me a lot of the time. Like just like the base level of just like moving around and and doing stuff doesn't feel like joyful in a in a way that I would have expected. But um, I like the look of it, and uh, the conceit seems interesting, but also maybe kind of laborious to me. If that makes any sense. Um, yeah, I feel like Krampus is slowly taking out every single enemy in the map. Uh, without me realizing it. I think that's what's happening. But yeah, I don't know. I'm also just kind of the wrong person to ask anymore. Like, I... The, the shooters that if I if I play a shooter at this point oh wait a minute oh god I thought that was Krampus uh, if I play a shooter at this point it's probably going to be something multiplayer and probably something like with a really wild hook or some kind of really new thing um, immersive Sims at this point maybe not my favorite um, genre. I think I just, I guess, all things considered, like, I guess I'd just rather be playing Hitman? <laughs> um, Is Frampus? All right, I'm just gonna have to. Uh, this, this is this is how he gets you. But I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna run around and try and find him. This play space is so big. <laughs> I'm not the right person to ask if I like this. I just mean, like, you know, I'm sure this is a good game if you're super into these kinds of games still, but, uh... Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. I'm probably gonna break my leg before I find Rampus. No, I can't hear it at all, Krampus. I, I I got nothing on you. Well, I hear like a bang every now and then. I thought maybe that was just something that was happening on the level. 
I mean, I thought it was you at first, and then I thought, oh, it's just something that's happening uh, atmospherically. See, like that. Is that Krampus? He's over on the other side of the map. Oh! <laughs> okay. Um, I thought I was supposed to defend this thing. Oh, shit. I don't even know where that is. Probably, like, over here, I guess? Or, I don't know. Oh, that's where he was? Okay, so... Then I should probably be... Unless he already left. Can I just, like, pull this garbage? Oh, shit, there he is. <laughs> Can't lean right, or lean left, rather. Uh... Ready to go. Um. No, oh, really, ready to go. <laughs> I don't know if he died or what. Yeah, I'm confused. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh no, what's happening? I don't know what's happening. What? What is this? Where did Frampus go? Did he die? I don't... Escape? Whoops. Hot. Oh. I guess I did get him that one time, maybe? Hmm. Hot. Wait, what's this? Oh, that's the thing already. Right. Hmm. 
Yeah, or someone else got him. I don't know. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm going to die, yeah, on my own here. Um, well... I don't know what to do. Okay. <laughs> well, that mode's pretty bad. <laughs> I don't see that ever being very enjoyable. Uh, maybe if you're just looking for something in the middle of your playthrough of the game and uh, are bored with regular enemies. The idea seems good, but the execution is strange. I don't think you can uh, recover health, no. Um, yeah, maybe you learn the maps really well, but I, it's still basically is just like a deathmatch fight, isn't it? I mean, it, there's nothing else to it, right? You're just kind of two people one-on-one -on -one deathmatching each other. Um, weird. Yeah, I just, I feel like if you could Hitman, like, blend in with other NPCs, like, walk like they do, or, like, do some, like, basically what I'm thinking of is the, um, oh god, what's that party game, uh, where one person's the shooter, one person's, like, trying to pretend to be an NPC? I can't think of the name of it. Um, Spy Party, thank you. Uh, yeah, I guess if it was more like Spy Party, I feel like I'd be into it, but it's it's weird that they don't give you many tools other than just, like, run around and shoot people. Um, or, yeah, or the ship, yeah. Um, man, Spy Party is so good. I, uh, I'm bummed that it has zero players at this point. Um... Anyway, well, what a weird stream. Uh, <laughs> I'll have to come back and stream tomorrow. I think I'll... Um, I was going to stream Age of Empires 4, and then it turns out that there's this really annoying uh, message that says it's the technical beta or whatever, and it's just like constantly spinning around on the screen. Uh, I feel like that would get kind of old on a stream. Um... But uh, otherwise, I would have I would have streamed some of that. Um, Discord spy party, yes, uh, we could absolutely do that. Um, if you get it downloaded, you can't one v one superhero. That's the other thing. You can only two v two. I think I can load it up for a second if people are even interested in taking a look at it. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll yeah, let me just load it. It's yeah. Let's see. Age of Empires 4. Um, but yeah, I don't think you can one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, Spy Party to me is like the, the better version of that, or I guess the ship is the better version of that, where you're just able to blend in with the NPCs more. In that mode, it, it's like they... I don't really know what the masquerade thing is, what, like, what the point of that is. I mean, I guess you just would stand still. Like, that's the only way I could see that possibly fooling somebody. But then you're just literally standing still as the player. That seems really boring. I don't know. I don't know. Um, oh, okay. This technical stress test is not launching anymore. Let's see if I need to, like, control, alt, delete, kill something. Um, um, I failed the test. Let me restart Steam as well. I think it's so you can pretend to be a bottle. Did Prey have multiplayer? I don't remember. Okay. Technical stress test. 
Wow, it's not launching. I've just been thwarted left and right and center uh, today. Um, yeah, this is probably one of those things where, like, if I restarted my computer, it would work, but it's just not going to run again until I do that. Oh, I think the universe is telling me that I should probably just stop streaming for the moment. Um, unless I can find, like, the one thing in my... Uh, a list here that Punk Buster is running. That's weird. Um, let's see. What a good stream this is right now. <laughs> 17 different versions of Creative Cloud, Creative Cloud Helper. Two different instances of Creative Cloud Helper. Wonderful, definitely necessary. Um, God, I don't really want an updated version of Windows. I just want Windows to know that a million of these things on my uh, task list are not necessary and kill them for me automatically. Okay, well, I guess I can't get this running. It's just literally not gonna start. Uh, what a bummer. Um, but hey, you know what? Have a great weekend, everybody. Um, I uh, I will finish Final Fantasy IV. It's not going to be right now, though, because it's 6.30 here, and we need to get some food going. And, um, and I got married today, so I should probably go talk to my wife. First time I've said that, actually. It's on, it's on camera. Um, I don't have any streams scheduled for the weekend, but I'm going to stream for sure. Um, so uh, please join me for those uh, if you're around. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. I know I'm going to try to rope, uh, oh yeah, thank you for the congrats. I'm going to try to rope, um, Chanel into XCOMing with me at some point, but I don't know if it'll be this weekend or next or whatever. Um, and then, uh, other than that, yeah, finishing Final Fantasy is definitely on the list. And then I might just stream some more Kerbal or something. I don't know. We'll see. Um, maybe some Spelunky, who knows? Um, <laughs> I, I I mentioned it earlier. I said sorry. Yeah, no, it's we we had like a fake ceremony today. I mean, it's not fake; it's real. Uh, the uh, the county married us today, but we're gonna have a real ceremony for our friends and family. Uh, well, really, just our family next year. Still small, but um, uh, you know, hopefully, when things are looking a little uh, easier for travel uh, next summer. So um, anyway, yeah, I appreciate the congratulations, everybody. And I hope you all have a great weekend. Um, and yeah, hopefully I'll see you uh, tomorrow for some kind of some kind of stream. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was, we, it was a Zoom call. It was a 10 minute Zoom call with somebody we don't know. Uh, it was pretty funny in how ridiculously nothing it was. Toby was sitting on the uh, couch next to us and uh, whining the whole time. Anyway, um, I will see you all later. Take care and stay safe. Bye. Hour two and a half, and I think we're on world record pace. Not everyone runs this category. Um, oh! Hi, my name's Nick Brecken. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, wow, I've never clicked this button. Yeah, I'm Luke Skywalker. Yeah. Yeah. No! I am a game developer, occasional podcaster. Don't open the door, you coward! I stream uh, almost daily on this channel now called Idle Thumbs. No! We have a really good community. Oh, oh no! Please join us for, um... Nope, nope. Oh my god, I'm alive. <laughs> The hoisting? Join us for the madness. Oh no, the engine's too big. <laughs> Join us for the hubris. What I need to do is stand on the roof of this Jeep and fire a rocket propelled grenade. Oh no, no! <laughs> I occasionally stream with my girlfriend Janelle. I live on the edge. No. I live on the edge. No, you don't. <laughs> Sorry, I occasionally stream with my partner Janelle. Oh no! Oh, Toby. And my wonderful dog, uh, Toby, who you may see. Oh my God, Toby. <gasps> Toby, get out of there. Uh, th th this part's not gonna be used. Ready for the knowledge.
Hi, this is how you take pictures. You take a lot of pictures and then you select the one good one, right? Isn't that how you take pictures? That's how. Ah, you piece of shit! You did it! <laughs> that was way too big. I don't like being that big. I, I like, I don't, this, this is a much better size for my face. <laughs> this should be censored. <laughs>